I also want to say some announcements. Um, you would have seen that I didn't get the notice about this week as early as I usually do. Um, and I think people have been aware that I've been having email problems for a while. So I decided to go into the 21st century and we have a new email list, which means though for you, how it impacts you is you have to look, you have to opt in yourself. So if you're already on my email list, you're on that list, unless there's an error. Uh, if you don't get emails from me every week about this call, then you need to opt in. And once we get going, I'll put that opt in link in the chat or you can message me to get it. So David, I will make you uh, host. Great. And you can share your screen and then I'll introduce you when you're ready. Hey, fantastic. I'm ready. Perfect. So ladies and gentlemen, my name is Sharon Whiteman. Uh, it's a great pleasure for me to partner with Diana and Gary to, and all of you, each and every one of you in our lovely Manatech family to bring this event every Saturday. None of us can do this without each other. So uh, we thank you for your support. We're very excited to have David back. He's spoken to us a couple times previously and um, he very generously jumped up and um, put his hand up when uh, we had a, a schedule change with our previous speaker, Bob Adden, does want to come and speak to us. He's the, uh, I think he's the general manager of Mantech Inc. in the U.S. And he will come at some point, but um, thank you, David, for jumping in. We're, we're in very good hands. So if you haven't had the blessing to hear from David previously, David has been with Mantech for 18 years with the majority of his Mantech career being as a commission research supervisor. That's really good for this topic today. Currently, David works in sales as a sales development manager and has been supporting the field with Mantech's flight team program and other sales initiatives. He's married to Zo Zoe Tennyson-Wood, the Mantech creative director, and they've just recently welcomed their first child. I think this, is, this um, bio is probably about a year old. So how old is your child now, David? He's a year and a half. Yeah, yeah, very nice. Thank you. I get to see him on Facebook, so that's always a blessing for us to stay connected that way globally. Awesome. Two and a half years ago, or three and a half years ago now, Al Bala asked David to become his project manager for the new compensation plan design project. He got to work with the consultants, key field leaders, um, team, and of course, Al Bala and Kevin Robbins. He wrote the business rules, used the program that the new plan used for us, and he has most recently been on the road and conference calls and supporting the launch of our new plan and also the new business development enhancements that we're all enjoying and that have newly been launched in Australia. So today our topic is about successfully and consistently tracking your progress. You need to, I'm not really a numbers girl, I'm a people person, but I've learned that you need to look at the numbers and help your team with the numbers. So that's what David's gonna be focused on. We did have some questions come in um, and I know he'll weave that into his presentation. If you have further questions as um, we go along, just put it into the chat box. So if you're new at the bottom of your screen, there will be a chat box and you can just ask questions there. So David, thank you so very much. I'll turn my camera off, but I'll be here in case anything goes wrong if you need me. Thank you, Sharon, you're very nice, I appreciate it. Welcome to everyone from Dallas, uh, Flower Mound, Texas. Everyone is excited about what's happening with Australia. Kevin Robbins came back as pumped as I've ever seen him, and Al Bala was just on pins and needles about what we feel is a breakthrough for you, your teams and for the business. So that's great. We applaud you. You know, Australia has been here a good while, and we're grateful for the people that have stuck with us and show their strength in longevity and endurance. So thank you, and it's great to be with you. Um, you know, Manitech has several types of flavors. I've, I've met a bunch of different types of people here at Manitech. Uh, one thing they all have in common is a heart for people. Uh, but I gotta say, you need the Al Ballas and the Kevin Robbins and the pizzazz and the ADD that some of these great field speakers have. But there's also another side that we have to try and balance with and that's the facts and the numbers and the keeping track of details. So that's kind of where I fit in. And today is about trying to be helpful. Uh, I really have the intention 
that what I share is not just about the numbers, but actually where to go find something quickly and easily so that you don't have to hunt and pick and look around and hope you found the right information. In fact, what I think I can do is take us out of our head so that we don't get analysis by paralysis. <laughs> well, I can give you the basics and the main things in about five reports. And once you have those down, uh, I can tell you, you'll be a master at what you need to do. And so that's kind of what this is about. Interestingly enough, before we get into success tracker, I got a couple of requests from corporate office. Um, Sharon had passed on uh, kindly to me the uh, corporate request to uh, show, once again, the order flow, if you will, or the process flow in how to create an auto order. That came up several times and we want to make sure that everybody is feeling warm and comfortable. So I've added that to this. Also, the idea came up, how do I change my auto order or how do I change an auto order for someone in my downline? So I've covered that in these slides as well. Once we get through these, and it won't take us a moment, uh, once we get through that, then I'll hit the heart of this message this morning for you guys, this evening for me, about how to use the success tracker to help me in the best possible way so that I'm not wasting time getting into analytics and I can actually find this something that makes my job easier. That's what this is for. Success Tracker is there to help you. It, it can be intimidating, but we don't need it to be. And so hopefully after today, you'll feel a little uh, ease. You'll be put at ease as we go through some of these important principles. Okay, so without further ado, let's kind of get into this today. If I want to create an auto order, I start by going to manatech.com and of course select my country, which Australia or New Zealand is appropriate here. I log in with my account number and password and I click on the shopping aspect, that little bar at the top. I'll show that by the, with a red highlight here. Once you choose shopping, a drop down menu populates and there in the center of the three items you see automatic order. And that's what we're talking about here. So first we've got to get the date right. Uh, this is important. When we are selecting our generation date, it means that it's going to generate this date every month. So obviously, if I took a picture on, uh, of February and chose the 28th, that means it's going to generate the 28th and subsequently in March and April and May and June, et cetera, it's also going to continue on the 28th. So it's a set it and forget it kind of thing. And now that Manitech's on the monthly schedule, as we came up with in the new plan, that makes it convenient. We don't have to scratch our heads. And now when is the fourth day? And what, <laughs> we, we could have had certain situations where uh, you could have a generation on the first day of a month and on the last day of a month. And so you got two payments in the same calendar month. All of that has been removed and that headache has been removed. So set the first generation date and then click continue. We're choosing, making sure that we've got our country correct and our, and our continue button selected. And then as we go through this menu driven process, we begin to add. So it, now it's time to shop. Everybody loves this part. So we're going to add products to our cart. And when you have completed your shopping cart, we're going to go to the review part. But here you see uh, on the uh, screen, a picture of a couple of Ambertos items. And that's generally how I hear from associates. They like to look at this view. And then once they choose their quantity, you see one is the selection, they add the review cart button. But when we're reviewing, sometimes things come up and we have to remove or uh, we have to change the quantity or whatever. So here's how we would go about doing that. There's an apply changes button, that little blue button above proceed to checkout. And that little button is our, our friend. So as we make changes and, and update our shopping cart, once we've got it like we like it, 
we need to hit this apply changes button so that we don't lose our work. Okay. Uh, now we're going to add some more. Here's an example of this. You see the message that your shopping cart has been updated there in yellow. And uh, you have it one last chance once it's been updated to click continue shopping, which is that gray button and you can add more items or we are happy with our set and we go to proceed to checkout. The menu drive continues. Um, just want to show that in the express shop, we have uh, the continue shopping express shop visibility tab. That visibility tab there in gray allows us to look at things the way we're most comfortable. A lot of people like the big flashy icons with pictures of the products that we're about to purchase. Other people will click that button, which is a toggle back and forth to get an alphabetical list where it's just straightforward A to B in line after line after line. I know exactly where I go and click that list. So whether you use the grid view or the bullet point icon view is up to your preference, but this is where in the express shop, we make our view available. Now we're back to more review. This is our uh, making sure we're getting where we want to go perspective. We add to the cart as required and we click on review cart there up at the top right when we are completely done. If everything's as we need it, that review cart button is where we want to go. And then it pulls up what the order will be. It gives details including subtotal and your PPV for that order. So in this case, we, we see it's over 450 and that lets me know that I'm good. Uh, so I can proceed to check out with this button at the bottom right. And now it shows my shipping address. I can click the radio button for change address if I have an alternative place that I want to do. Uh, but there's a pull down menu that once we get our address set that comes into play and that's for uh, shipping method. So here is the most popular view shown, uh, the free ground. Uh, this is a case where someone's purchased over a hundred. That free ground is the popular shipping method. All right, as is normal, we're going to continue with checkout. Now it's interpayment time, straightforward as you authorize what's about to be purchased and then you continue with checkout. Review order one final time. It shows you everything about this that you're going to need to know, the most important details. If you're happy and it's all good, we're going to check the place order button at the bottom right. All right. So that's all well and good. I've placed my automatic order. I know how to do that. You know, once you've done it uh, once or twice, this becomes like breathing. It's pretty straightforward. But uh, the Australian office asked me to also show how do I change it once it's generated. All right, so this is where we're going to spend a little bit of time together where I'm going to show you just quickly a few screenshots that should take us through the menu of how to change an automatic order. And in addition to that, uh, it'll come up in our conversation how I can manage my downlines automatic orders. So that's very handy if someone is, is uh, wanting to take care of some orders for a family member or uh, someone in their downline that may be uh, technically challenged. These things make it so easy. So let's, let's talk about that now. Obviously log in just as we've done in the create automatic order section. The my orders tab is your buddy here and that's the one we want to select and under the my orders options, the first on the bottom left is called automatic order. All right. Click on the order details detail and you can pull up and get an automatic order to modify or change or what we would like to say edit. So I would like to edit this and therefore I'm going to choose edit order. All right. Next step. Automatic order screen continues as menu driven as Manatex website works and we have the option to uh, change and update. We can cancel the change. We, we have complete control and this is where we would go to get that control set. 
We're here in the bottom left, you see how we add or change products. So it's all there at the touch of a button. Now it's time to do quantity. So the quantity is simple. I can add to, take from, or re remove from cart, or add to cart as required. The uh, quantity button, when I have selected an item, has on either side a plus or minus, and that's one way you can uh, change the number of items that are being selected. Uh, you can also highlight and type the number that you would prefer. However you want to get there is up to you. We make it available to do it in multiple ways so that it's convenient and intuitive. All right, so here we have the add to cart button at the bottom right. I'm gonna show the remove from cart button. So you see how editing your order is very simple. Once we've done that, then we can empty cart. That's another option. So I can add to, remove, or empty, and then start all over. So you have complete control over this automatic order template. You can change it. Again, you can even uh, cancel an automatic order and set a new generation date. So as long as it's within the calendar month, uh, you're good to go. Now there is the rule about you can't have more than one generation in a month, but within normal circumstances, that wouldn't be a request anyway. So here we go. Let's update. As you review what you've changed and you're satisfied with your product selection, you scroll down and these parts are very important. You have the next generation date, you have the billing information. So that shows uh, when, when selected here on this screen, and I can, at the bottom right there, click Update. And that makes all these changes that we've edited uh, available for me. I can then review my order and scroll down to the bottom, and I, when I'm ready, I click Place Order. So that would be the simplest solution when I want to edit an automatic order. Once I click that button, it's going to process, and this is the flash page that comes up, and you'll see uh, it, the progress menu bar that goes along as your order is being updated. Then you'll get a green bar that says, thank you, your order has been submitted. You will receive an email containing your order information, and all of the con uh, in important things to confirm are before you. So that is a great thing. The next part is to go back to the My Orders and confirm the modified date and the next generation date. So here we have uh, my downline orders, and I'm gonna confirm two things. The modified date there on the bottom left, uh, January 3rd of 2019 in this scenario, and the next generation date in this scenario is in March. So the uh, automatic order type is the uh, what we call an MA, the order type uh, for Manatech automatic order. So MA order type, it's all there at the bottom of the screen for you. Okay, we can also think about helping our downline. So let's get into that a little bit. My downline orders uh, this is, we're actually managing someone's automatic order template here. Uh, we can search by account number, we can search by name. Uh, th that's probably the simplest way to search. If you know the account number, it's fast, uh, but name pulls up very quickly as well. So once I've found the account in question, the order number of the template in question, I'm going to go through this process that we've done with verifying some uh, important information to get into the order template. And we'll see a confirmation that this automatic order has been added to your manage my orders page. So I can go in and manage several auto orders if I wanna take care of my uh, two kids and my wife or uh, whatever the case may be. Say maybe it's some of your downline, my mother, my father, my brother, et cetera. So here we have the view the template page. 
and we click on my downline orders and we click on automatic order. And that is what would, that screen shows here. You're gonna have the two options, my orders, that's whenever I'm updating my automatic order template. To the right in that green box, you have the bar that says my downline orders. And when we click that, now the templates that I have that I'm managing are gonna show there at the bottom of the screen. And if you have multiples, you may have to uh, scroll through several pages. So we have a previous and next page button there at the very bottom. Uh, so I've seen people manage several automatic order templates. So that does happen and that's why that's there. So that's the view the template, okay? Now let's talk about eligibility. Uh, when it comes to managing someone's order, first things first, if the downline is a preferred customer, you have to be the enroller. And you know, customer placement with Manatech is very simple. The enroller and the sponsor are absolutely the same. It can't be different. So uh, if I am the enroller of someone I, uh, that is a customer, I'm also their sponsor by default. So my customers have me as their enroller and sponsor. So if I'm doing a downline managing of an auto order for a customer, uh, then I have to be their enroller. Pretty straightforward. The other rule, only upline associate and the account holder. So those are the two options uh, that I have available with Manatech to manage an auto order. If someone else uh, is managing the order, please have the person removed from the manager. Uh, then you will be able to add to the new order manager. That's where we have too many cooks in the kitchen so to speak, okay? So that's eligibility. Uh, at times it comes important, it becomes important to do some canceling. Uh, so we have a trash can icon here. I'll show it there on the screen. Uh, that's a way to delete something, okay? You open the template, you verify, and you can click cancel the order. Uh, so here on the bottom right in that red, you see the delete. It looks like a trash can. And so that's how we would cancel. Okay, so these are the things that uh, I was asked by the uh, Australia office to cover, Sharon, and so without uh, further ado, let's now move into the heart of our message today, which is success tracker. The name is important because success tracker is exactly what we want to do. We want to see everybody successful with Manatech and we want to track your success. And so the success tracker has been around a long time. Um, I remember, as Sharon said, I've been here quite a few years. I remember when we first implemented this, how happy everyone uh, was because in the old days, it was call customer service and, and try and find someone over the phone. Uh, not fun. Now we have an, a way to access and see where someone is in the Manatech family, um, what the ordering details are in a month, uh, how I'm doing for leadership development with my people, all kinds of things that are just absolutely mission critical. Because at the end of the day, you heard Kevin last week, that when we're tracking something that you guys are doing with your business, um, at the end of the day, you're trying to grow your volume and develop leaders. Let me say that again. You're trying to grow your volume and develop leaders. Why do I say develop leaders as well as grow your volume? Well, leadership ranks have these rules and these rules are not uh, arbitrary. They are actually a trainer to help you build in a way that benefits you the most. If I am a one-legged wonder, what I mean by that is I build deep, 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 deep in one leg and I don't have any second, third, fourth leg, it's not gonna do me much good. So we need to have a beautiful balance. And so Manatech has rules, and we'll get into that a little bit, that Success Tracker shows you. You don't have to memorize them, it's all there in the report, reporting section. But Manatech has set this up so that you guys have less to think about and can get more towards the real job of developing leaders, working with people, having relationships, getting excited about these great products that have the magic of nature 
and the magic of science integrated together so beautifully. No other company has what Manatech has. And I've seen it time and time again. The magic of nature and the magic of science that Manatech has bottled up for us. Uh, what a blessing. Uh, even my one and a half year old has gotten into the game. Uh, he will bomb Ambertoe's life, but I digress. Okay, so here we have Success Tracker q and I had several questions that were presented to me, so let's cover these first as we look to this. Um, the question says, now that we have the new quick start, uh, I'm assuming that person is referring to the business development bonus that's coming. Uh, so the new quick start addition to the comp plan, is there any chance of this being a success tracker uh, report? Okay, so yes, we are developing a report that will allow you to see the business development bonus. So as you know, there's two flavors. There's the team two, and then there's the team four. Uh, so that report is coming. It would be after manifest before it's available because this is brand new. Uh, we just got the business rules done. Uh, so it, it take, once business rules are done, there's a little process where IT goes and develops the report. And um, then we have to have a testing to make sure the report is accurate. So all of that, we're, we're in the process. It's, it's development and testing phase now. So it's coming. So I would say post April, okay? So second question that I received to try and answer on this uh, time with you is does success tracker keep up to date each month or so who is still an associate so basically what they're asking is um, if they're an associate or they're a customer do they show somewhere in success tracker uh, for renewal so let me speak to renewal real fast because that kind of answers this question uh, for us beautifully so Manatech gives a person that joins the company and that when they purchase that associate registration, Manatech gives them a calendar year, in other words, 12 full months of eligibility for uh, the opportunity, should they be eligible in everything in terms of meeting the comp plan requirements to earn commissions. So renewal, it's just simply, I place my sign up and I get a calendar year. Now, once that year has passed, I want to renew the opportunity to earn commissions and that gives me another calendar year. The beautiful thing about customers when it comes to renewal is that there isn't really a requirement there. They're, they, they're not earning commissions. Um, so they don't need to have a renewal. So we don't make a renewal requirement for customers. We may have had something in the legacy days. Um, some of you may remember, as I think back on the things that we did in the past, we used to have check fees uh, to help with costs on checks, and we had other fees, and they kind of made it simpler and just made everything that it cost to do this business on the back office side of things done by a renewal. And the renewal then, once placed, you get another year of eligibility for earning commissions. Well, that's really only applying to associates. But back in the day, what we would do is uh, when they placed their 14th order from their renewal, we would reduce what we used to pay out in commissions by over half. And so that we would set that aside to renew their account, take care of the back office, take care of the cost for checks, uh, submissions and so forth that are a part of doing business from a corporate side. And it was pretty straightforward, but it meant that in that month, those people renewed, the leader didn't get as much commission. So what we've got now is a little more clean. It's a little more straightforward. You don't have to worrying of, of reducing the actual payout on an order. Uh, the commissionable volume, in other words, is not affected on that renewal order. So uh, we used to cut that uh, set aside for commissions on those renewal months, uh, the first time they placed an order after their renewal. So that's why customers, it's, it's a legacy thing. That's why they still 
show up as, as under that look for a renewal order. Uh, but it doesn't apply anymore. For customers, we just really simplified. If you're a customer, you don't have to worry about renewal. So as an upline, I'm not worried about my customers renewing. Uh, and as, a, as an upline of my associates, I have a report that I'll talk about later uh, that takes me there and shows me the renewal status. So Manatech has taken care of renewal to make it easy. I think the best thing I can say is we have a series of letters that goes out that notifies someone and their enroller that it's about time to renew. Uh, and we get plenty of months of, of, there's about six letters that go out, three before uh, and three after to let people know about renewal. Okay. Uh, the next question they had, if I have two people who are associates but have left, so we're talking about people that haven't ordered, does that customer become my, uh, let's see, let me change the screen so I can see that rest of the question. There we go. And if I have two people who are associates but have left, haven't ordered for over a year or so, and the next level down is a customer enrolled by me, does the customer become my personal customer so that their PPV is now added to mine for the sake of the new 500 PPV. Okay, so um, that, is, that, cust that question is really kind of getting into what's called a purge. A purge is the last purge that Manatech did was in February of 2016. And what happens is people that were not ordering for two years um, we removed them from the database uh, and they were free then to come back into Manatech in any place that they desired with any organization they were uh, uh, wanting to join. They were, they were new blood at that point because they hadn't ordered in so long they were purged from the database. And so that was called the purge. We, FYI, we are going to have a purge and it's going to be this year very, 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 very soon. Um, they're trying to get one done before manifest because in the new plan with the Unilevel the way it is, um, it actually helps people. You can actually, with a purge, um, end up getting more legs. And that's always more income because of the Unilevel. So we've had a gazillion requests from associates. Uh, two reasons for the purge, I guess, in their mind, they want to have... Uh, their uh, spreadsheet of their family tree a little bit prettier and more tidy. And also, too, um, they're thinking about the people that aren't ordering, if they have several legs and that comes up to me, I'm getting wider by default, and that helps my unilevel. So those two thoughts come to mind, and everybody's clamoring for it. So uh, the executives at Manatech have heard your cry, um, if, if you have people that haven't been ordering, they're going to be purged from the system and they're going to follow the sponsor line. So let's say that David is sponsored by Sharon and Sharon is sponsored by Diana. If Sharon has not been buying, but David has in this hypothetical example, then Sharon would be removed and David would be sponsored directly to Diana. He would just move up one. Uh, we would move Sharon out in this example and David up one in this example. That's called following the line of sponsorship. Everything pays through the line of sponsorship. And so we would purge and build our organizational tree based on the line of sponsorship. If, if someone is an enroller and they are then purged, we would just trace the enrollment line or the enrollment lineage, uh, just like we did with the sponsor. So it's, uh, it's pretty straightforward. It's, it's all done on the behind the scenes for you. And uh, it's, it's happening very, very soon. So in the case of this question, the purge is the answer. In terms of the specifics of the question, um, if you're the enroller of a customer, yes, that could, uh, or enroller of an associate, I mean, that could help you 
toward the uh, person that's trying to get the business development bonus. Yep, if you're the enroller, that's where it becomes a benefit to you. Uh, you have to be the person that told someone about Manitech, the listed enroller of the account, then it helps you, okay? Number fourth question, um, on Success Tracker in the report box, it says current enrollment level is preferred customer, yet it says they have renewed. Uh, that's legacy. Like I said, in the old days, every, every uh, 14th order, we would take back commissions to renew an account. And uh, we don't do that anymore because uh, of the new way we do enrollments with the new comp plan. So that doesn't apply anymore specifically. Uh, you can ignore that current enrollment level when it comes to preferred customers. Um, there is a request uh, to put in a change that updates the look of that, but I just want to let you know if there's a customer involved, current enrollment level doesn't apply. You can ignore that. Now, if they're an associate, that's a different deal. We'll go to a report called the renewal that I'll show you about in a little bit later. But when it comes to customers, don't worry about it. The current enrollment level uh, for a preferred customer means nothing, okay? Uh, number five, if an act inactive account hasn't ordered for over 12 months, wants to start up, does he pay 49 or 24? Okay, so if I'm an inactive associate, um, I don't have to pay 49. That's only when I'm starting a brand new account. Uh, the 24 is what you would pay for renewal if you want to uh, have the shot at earning commissions. But let me be clear, you don't have to renew. If I'm an associate and I used to renew, but I'm no longer earning commissions, let, let, maybe that's a good example. Let's pretend I'm an associate that no longer earns commissions, then I'm not really incentivized to renew. And guess what? You don't have to. There's no penalty other than the fact that uh, loyalty uh, it works as customer for you and um, you don't earn commissions because you're not renewed, which is one of the requirements. So you don't have to, uh, but in this scenario, if they did want to renew and they did want to have um, the chance for commissions after being gone for 12 months, it would be the 24 renewal fee that would be applied, okay? All right, last question if the person if not David, who is the best person in corporate answers this? Um, actually, I, I could answer that. So I think we're good on the questions, the Q&A about success tracker. Uh, let's continue. Let's actually get into reports, guys. Okay. First things first, when I'm coming to success tracker, there's an associate detail page where modifying PPV fields that was done recently with the new launch of the new plan. Uh, can help me include personally enrolled customers PV accurately. accurately. So um, think of it this way, me and my customers. We sit on top of our organization. I can be multiple legs wide beneath me or two legs, it doesn't matter. But my customers aren't part of that uh, genealogy. They're on uh, level zero or leg zero or up top, if you will. So me and my customers, I've got my arm around them. Uh, they would be leg zero. So in the associate detail, we needed to show that to you guys somehow, and we modified associate detail to do that. So associate detail is handy. It gives you uh, address information, contact information, upline, presidential, email, all that good stuff. It, it shows an upline person that's looking at an individual, uh, the customer data, and it also shows their organizational total volume. In other words, the associates and their associates beneath me, organizational volume detail. So that's called associate detail, very handy report. Okay, now organizational profile, I'll speak to it in a minute, but it also has updated PPV. Uh, PPV stands for personally, uh, uh, personal point volume. So uh, that had to be updated when we launched the new plan and we did that as recommended by the field. The next important report that we're going to cover today, how to get to the next leadership level. Um, it's absolutely the Mac Daddy of all reports. 
nothing gets past this report. When it comes to, I got to know for sure I'm getting paid, that's the key. All right. Downline leaders is a great report. It shows leadership rank achievements of all your downline by leg. It has a built-in show report that takes you to the one we just mentioned. So if I have a leader in a leg three and they're an executive and I see a bunch of volume, but they're just executive, then I'm going to want to click that uh, show report button. It's going to take me to the how to get to the next leadership level for them. And I can go call that person and say, you're just a little side volume short of getting a lot more money. So that's a very handy report and it's all in the same page. You don't have to get, uh, log out, log in, log back out, log back in kind of thing. It's all built in. All right, genealogy. That's our family tree, guys. The uh, view of the map of my people. It, it has a physical level numbering system so that you can find people even if you have a huge, large organization. Some people use the tree view when they're just getting started because it has blocks and you, or, or diagram it's, it's very visual centric. The problem is if once you get past gold associate, you can't see everything on the screen and it's very cumbersome. And, and particularly with big organizations, it won't load everything. So the genealogy version of genealogy is our buddy. I have used that for years, um, uh, pulling up, I, I just checked a silver presidential before this call and genealogy just came right to it for us. I was able to do control F and I'll show more about that in the future, but genealogy is your buddy. It has so much data. Uh, it's just a powerhouse. Um, David, can I just jump in for one second? Sure. When, when you get to um, the tree, if you're going to show that there's another distinction on the questions earlier, which is the question about associates and customers was about the actual tree view when yeah. they're listed as associates and customers. Okay. Okay. I, I wasn't clear of that. Okay. Okay. Thank you. The last part of this, uh, of what we've set aside to help you is the customer bonuses. So the AQ team, the, um, the personal, those things that we're dealing with when you have enrolled and sponsored a customer and they're buying, what you can earn on them. So we have the bonuses there. So these are the things on this page. These are the things that that's really all you need with these items. Um, you could do anything you need to do with Manatech. These are all I use and I research checks daily. Um, and I, these are great reports. They're succinct, they're powerful. Um, just using this, we'll talk more about what, what to use and when in just a second. But at the end of the day, take a look and write down on this screen these items because you don't need anything else. These cover you. There's one report I could add about renewal, but at the end of the day, 95% of everything you'd need to do is right here. Okay. Uh, let's start with org profile. They're on the top left, the seventh or eighth down. It says organizational profile. This is the one when you're going to go talk to someone. You know, if we get geeky about our data, uh, it's a different mindset than when I'm speaking to Sharon or Diana or Gary or whoever. I need to not be in geek mode. <laughs> I need to be able to talk to them and listen to them. So um, organizational profile is your buddy when you're going on the phone. If I have a, an associate call me and wanting to get into some research, before I do any research, I pull up the organizational profile for that person and click show report. And that, that report has a, as, as it says, as its name provides, a profile so that I know exactly where they are. I don't have to go hunting and pecking and looking at which leg and which leader has what leg. It's all there. So let's talk about that. This is our phone buddy, okay? So here you have at the top of the organizational profile, by the way, I've had to highlight things that are uh, confidential in nature. So a lot of the things you'll see screen wise are fictitious in nature or I'm blocking out personal confidential information. I want to be safe and, and keep people's data private for privacy laws. Okay. But here at the top, you see the account, the uh, leadership level, and then you have ha the enrollment data. How many people does this person have? Uh, how many are customers? How many are associates? 
Um, it even tells you about their buying habits. All of that, I don't have to go looking at millions of months of orders. It's all there for me. I see trends and I didn't have to go anywhere but look at the top of this page. The next thing I scroll down and this answers the PPV idea. If I wanna look at someone's PPV data, organizational profile is your buddy. Um, it's the best place to check PPV, personal point volume. Um, it's the fastest because I just see there on the uh, screen, the PPV data, it has the person at the top that is the associate, and then it starts listing all the enrolled sponsored customers underneath. Now notice under leg, when it comes to PPV, the leg says zero. That means that we're not talking about our downline yet. These are my customers. So 727 has brought in 311, 2553. 727 brought in 364, 2678, et cetera. And we give a tally, you, have, you know how much uh, personal point volume you have in all of your customers' details right there. It's all listed out. If you had 100, that list would keep growing. Uh, this person has 11 when he counts himself, and, and so that means he's enrolled and sponsored 10 customers. So org profile, good place to check PPV very fast. Okay? Then we scroll down the page and we're going to look at the legs and the leaders. So here we have the, the legs. This person has 24 legs, as you can see. And on the right, at the far right, you see D, E, G, E, and P, D. That stands for director, executive director, gold executive, and presidential. The leadership records of our people in that leg. So you know in leg three for this account, there are 3465 directors, there are 1306 executives, there's 282 gold executives and 297 presidentials. So that would be good to know. Uh, that kind of data is all shown. I, so you can tell by just looking at this org profile, really when it comes down to it, you know exactly where someone is and that allows you to not geek out on trying to find out what's going on with their success or lack thereof. You can just listen to them. You know where they are and now it's about relating to that person, finding out what they're really on about, what's in their heart. And this, this report, it's, it has all these numbers, but it's not a technical report. It's more of a help me talk to someone kind of report. That's called the org profile. Love that baby. All right, Matt Day, real fast. There are several rules that you wanna make sure that you know and you cover, and that's the how to get to the next leadership level report. So here we have a, a fictitious screen and it shows the uh, current PPV, it tells you what it is now, plus if you add in the automatic orders that have it generated, and when you add in both together, so everything's there. All the rules are covered, with the exception of renewal. Um, it, it's, it's just a one-stop shop, so if I wanna make sure that I'm gonna get paid at the monies that I'm expected to for that rank, then I need to check this, and it's gonna tell me, and if I know I'm covered here, uh, I'm good. It also shows me what I would have to do to get to the next level, but I can customize that. I love that about this report. I could be a presidential in the first week and want to be a platinum and just compare where I am now with what it would take to get to platinum. Uh, kind of do some dream building. This report is awesome. Okay, here are the five rules. You have to, eat, have to get minimum of PPV, which is 150. There's a target downline point volume for each rank. We have 18 ranks. There's a formula for balanced volume. So we have the 65-35 uh, for the high leaders, the 70-30 rule for the first ranks. And we call that the max leg. So um, anything outside of my max leg is the side volume. And how to get to the next leadership level allows me to see where I am and where I would place orders if I'm short or where I need to boost up if I'm short. So that rule is covered. Uh, the fourth rule is active legs. I have to meet at least the minimum. Um, when you get in the first ranks, you have to have at least two. Uh, the mid ranks are at least three. And when you get beyond, you know, the into the metal type leadership, you have to have four legs minimum. So 
it's all there, active leg. Active leg is simply defined as I've got an associate somewhere that has 100 PPV. So let's pretend four levels down a leg, I have Ray and he bought 50 and one of the customers he enrolled bought 50. That's 100, his PPV is 100, that leg's good for me, the upline, okay? Uh, for the fifth reason for, uh, fifth rule is bronze presidential and above have to have a point system. Uh, we call the leader leg structure, it's two parts. And again, that's all taken care of for us. We don't have to guess anything. It's all shown in the how to get to the next leadership level. Um, the associates due for renewal report, I, re I referred to this earlier. Um, that's a great place to go for anyone that's not sure if this person is renewed because it's not covered in this report. Um, there's been a request to add it, but uh, it hasn't been done yet. Okay. Um, here we have a, a look at uh, the downline leaders. Uh, notice that show next level button that someone has clicked and now that person, Lisa Brown, is, is, it popped up and took you to the how to get to the next leadership level from the downline leaders report. That's one of the reasons we love this report so much because you know where the leaders are in the leg, what their highest level's been, what the current is, and what it would take to get them more money. Great report downline leaders. All right, genealogy, physical levels. So you see zero, that would be you or one of your customers. Level one are the people that you sponsored. Level two is the people that your ones have sponsored. So every time I see a one, that's a new leg for me. That's our numbering system. That's how we map out the people of Manatech. They have a physical level and the higher the number, the deeper they are from me, okay? Um, a neat feature on genealogy, and we're talking about genealogy, genealogy. Um, control F on Windows or Command F on a Mac allows you to search. So you, if you know somebody and you don't want to scroll, then just hit Control F if you're on a Windows machine or Command F if you're on a Mac, and you can type in and it takes you right there. You see all the details that you get, contact information, ordering information, renewal business period information, etc. It's all there, love genealogy. It's the only place that you can truly do. Now, for the tree view, you have two limitations, and that's why I don't recommend it being used, particularly once you get past Gold Associate, and that is you can only load so much, it won't load your whole downline, and you don't see the width of your uh, organization. If somebody has five legs, you can't really see that cleanly. So those are the two limitations that the tree view has. I love that it's visual and I love that, but um, it's so limited, guys. I, I would go back to genealogy, genealogy version, because then you're using the numbering system. You can load big organizations and find somebody very, very quickly. Um, the commission research team and people like myself that do audits of checks to make sure that Manitech's paying correctly, uh, we use the genealogy version of the genealogy report because uh, TreeView leaves us so wanting. We really can't get the details that we need. You'll be very frustrated, but not with the genealogy version. It's very clean, uh, very helpful. Okay, uh, let me quickly wrap up some of this stuff. Here are the customer reports. So you see the AQ personal. If I want to see my five customers are buying at 100, I've got that report. The AQ team shows me qualified or not for that 300 amount in the U.S. Um, associates close to or qualified for the AQ team. Um, that's very helpful. And the associates who received AQ team bonus, very helpful. So that's all about customers and the people in my downlines customers. Those reports are there under bonus qualification. Uh, here's what it would look like if you were to look at them direct. Okay. All right. There, I'm going to close this with future enhancements. Coming to you very, 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 very quickly. The month, here's the scoop on this. The month of March, we're in the testing phase for Australia. Uh, we've launched this report I'm about to talk about in the U.S. already. Uh, we're almost ready for Australia. We're testing, uh, and that takes us about a month. So about a month, and then we'll get into launch phase.
So this is called the Retention Management Report. It's brand new, and it has this beautiful algorithm that studies each presidential's organization, how much business they're doing, how much ordering they do, how consistently they order on auto order, who in their organization tends to order as normal order. It takes all, there's 36 bullet points of data and it applies that algorithm and you, you have a two month prior window that it looks at and it, is 90% accurate as to who is about to quit. What a great report. So you don't have a list that's forever to search through. It calls only those that are subject to quit. So it's called retention management for that reason. And so it is gonna give you a list of those that are on the bubble and based on prior past history, it's time to contact them so that they don't quit. We've never had that before. Um, so retention is going to be the new tool in your pocket. Uh, we've found that you can add thousands upon thousands of volume by just managing about 10% of retention. So uh, we added this report, uh, more to come on that for Australia. Like I said, it's being tested now to make sure that it works as expected and uh, you guys are gonna love it. So. Uh, that's a future, but coming very, very soon. All right, guys, thank you so much uh, for all you do and for your uh, strong work with Manatech. We appreciate you uh, from our heart. Uh, we're pulling for you. Uh, we can't wait to see what's happening next in Australia, New Zealand, and uh, Australasia. We, we think the best of you. We appreciate you very much. All our love and all our best wishes to you guys. Sharon, thank you for your generous kindness and uh, if there's anything we can do, let us know. Well, what an amazing report. This is going to be used and used and used and used again. David, thank you so much. Um, ladies and gentlemen, corporate will um, have this up on their YouTube channel in the next, this week. Um, I usually get it up depending on my internet speed in the next two days. Um, but hopefully corporate will do some nice editing and we can have two separate uh, videos that have different content. So I'll try and figure it out, but I'm a, a Luddite <laughs> when it comes to, <laughs> to, to edit, video editing. But anyway, David, thank you. Bless you. It's really, really, really valuable. Big call. Thank you, everybody, for participating and being here. And um, we'll see you next week with a Glycan call. We've got some amazing uh, people's personal experiences lined up. So you'll want to bring your guests and yourselves to that call next week with Diana Hunter. David, thank you so very much. Have a great Friday evening. Yeah. Bye. Bye, everyone. Bye, Gary. Bye, everyone. Bye, everyone. Thanks, David.